Hey, what's up YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well out there and that you're safe wherever you are. Eid Mubarak to all my Muslim viewers, especially to my Malaysian and Singaporean viewers out there. Selamat Hari Raya, Ideal Fitri to all of you. And in conjunction with this great celebration, it is a fun time to actually unbox yet another doll. This would be my first Barbie simply because I found them in Toys R Us right here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the montage for you to see the entire collection which is available. So the first thing I notice are the dolls itself. Um, they are priced at 119 ringgit and 90 cents. We've got Brooklyn. Renee Teresa and also Mili which has the fringe also there are fashion packs um, there are four types of them. Each one costs about 49 ringgit and 90 cents, which is equivalent to about 10 US dollars each. So we've got the swimwear, the night dress fashion pack, the ballerina fashion pack, and also the outdoor dress with balloon fashion pack. Next, we have also the Deluxe Mealy doll which has an extra outfit. This one is priced at 199 ringgit which is approximately about 40 US dollars. And the most exciting part of this collection right here in Toys R Us is the Tea Party playset. It costs 169 ringgit and 90 cents. I am most likely gonna get that playset. Also, there is the bedtime playset as well, which is also 169 ringgit. And if I were to convert it, it would probably be about 45 US dollars. And this is what I got. I am so intrigued by the entire outlook of the box, the doll, everything, just every single thing. So I went ahead to get the deluxe one because it comes with a dress. Is This is also the Mili without the fringe over there. I'm so excited already. So let's take a look at the box itself. At the bottom of the box, you can see this is the cute, cute drawing of my first Barbie. At the side, it says easy to dress. Over at the top, you can present this as a gift to someone. At the side of the box, you will see more beautiful drawings of the entire collection. This is how the back of the box would look like and over here it shows you the comparison between a regular Barbie and also my first Barbie. Just so you know, this has no plastic in front so you're able to grab the doll itself and check the entire setup um, over here. So this is quite, I would say if it's display out there in the store, it may collect dust in due time. So get your dolls as quickly as you can to avoid all of the mess. And she's out from the box. I have also put together other dolls for a height comparison. This is the Be Kind doll. Somehow I felt that the two of them would have the same height before I remove her from the box. But I was so so wrong. As you can see the height difference is pretty significant. 
Also, I brought along with me the latest collection of the Barbie signature looks, the candle over here. And also, I have the BMR 1959 doll, the tallest uh, Barbie. So as you can see, in terms of height comparison, she is rather tall. But I wouldn't say she is outstandingly taller than the rest of uh, the dolls over here. But perhaps she would look so much taller than the regular doll. Standing next to the regular Barbie doll, of course you can see the significant size different and also the size of the facial features as well. However, when she is standing next to the can, well, it seems like she is slightly taller, not too much difference as compared to the regular size Barbie. Well, this doll is super heavy, but I love the grip of this doll. I really, really do. I'm really intrigued by the length of her hair. She's got beautiful, beautiful hair. Um, lots of it. I am really surprised with the quality of the doll and the hair. She is really cute. I love what I'm seeing. I'm so glad that I have her in my collection. Though the target group for this doll is meant for preschoolers, which of course I'm not. But I have to have her. In fact, I may get another one more of her because she is like... I would say solid kind of um, doll which is really nice to um, see in Mattel's uh, doll creation. Up close you will see a very very cute Millie face. This has very minimal or subtle makeup. She is wearing this pink headband which is fastened down on her head. She's wearing this cute nightgown because as you can see, the clouds. Well, this one has a closed eyes and there are pink and green frills all over the dress. And of course, it is Velcro from the top till the end. When you remove her clothes, you would see that is a molded on um, bralette and also briefs. In terms of articulation, she's only able to turn her head to her left and right. She's not able to tilt upwards and downwards. For her arms, she's able to extend outwards like so. And of course, she's able to make an entire turn. And for this My First Barbie, there is bend and snap especially at the elbow area so you can do it twice once and twice like so to create almost like an L shape and for her legs of course she's able to kick forward bend and snap as well to create this kind of bend there's no articulation on the ankles which gives her the ability to sit perfectly on the rainbow high chair. However, my doll over here, as you can see this leg, it doesn't fully bend and snap. This particular leg is perfect, so this is really unfortunate. So this deluxe set also comes with a dress. This is a very hard kind of dress. We a ribbon detail here, prints of heart shape and some floral um, images. There is pink ruffles on the shoulder area and it velcros from the top right to the bottom. I think the material over here and the easy accessibility to put on and to remove the dress. It's meant for the preschoolers. Um, this is a cute dress. I have no complaint, especially for um, the target group. There is a soft plushy toy over here, somewhat like a pillow with printed on details of what seems to me like a cat with the um, eye mask and also a ribbon on the head itself. There is this very cute beaded necklace. I wish there are 
other colors on the necklace itself but uh, it's just one tone then there is her handbag which looks like a bow with some beaded pearls on the handle and also in the middle of the bag a pair of cute eye masks for her a pair of lilac room slippers with ribbon detail at the front a pair of high heel pink shoes this is so so classic 1950s 1960s kind of shoes i love the details on it it is really really nice and at the bottom you would see the letter b over there for the barbie logo and this would be another headband and of course the giant head brush now i have the be kind head brush i think this is already pretty giant but this one is more gigantic than the be kind one so i would probably use this hair brush for most of my dolls from now onwards because it's easier for me to grip and of course it does the work pretty well so i like the feel of this brush yeah definitely a nice one for me to use for most of my dolls this is how she looks in her nightgown and also the plushy toy to her bedroom slippers This is how she looks on the other outfit And this would be the Rainbow Highs footwear and it fits her perfectly So I have lots of Rainbow High shoes This is really nice um, because now she has lots of footwear so I went ahead to also use the mini fashion brand handbag to place it on her I think it fits her perfectly together with the rainbow high shoes so the combination of pink and teal is just so perfect on her and so I managed to find a top and a skirt for her which could fit her. This is the Barbie extra jacket and this black skirt over here. It is slightly on a larger size which is stretchable so this is what I can put on her. I love what I'm seeing. She is so so sexy after the transformation. I'm going to do a close up of how she looks like and to see whether you like what you see or not. And with that said, thank you so much for joining me to unbox my first Barbie, the Deluxe Mili doll. I really, really love this doll. If I'm going to add one more into my collection, I'll probably get the Mili doll again. But this one with the bangs because she is the cutest. If it's not that, I'll probably get the Tea Party playset. And if so, I'm definitely going to unbox and review it together with all of you comment down below what you think of this doll i'd like to hear it from you and whether you have added them into your collection thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye for now